Oh, Kimberly, you're not about to do this today. Hi, my loves. Jere, my lady girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with some quick commentary. This is pretty much like a rant because when I saw this photo, I was already pissed off, okay? So when little Kim came out and said that, I don't know who is this woman. I don't know what you mean and what you doing. I'm like, Kim, Kimmy, just stop. So like, before I hop into it, um, Girl, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me start there. Let me slow down. Make sure you all like and subscribe because it helps you on the YouTube algorithm. And as y'all can see, I'm trying to be a little introduced to consistency, period. So go ahead and let me get a little like and subscribe out to you, sister. Appreciate you, my good sister, my good brother. So recently, um, Ebony Magazine has posted Little Kim as, uh, you know, she graced the cover for 50 years of hip hop. And I do think it's fitting that she's on the cover of me because... I mean, Little Kim, if you are a Barb today, at some point, you were a Little Kim fan. I don't know where you fall on the spectrum and your age or whatever the case may be, but that is just how those things work. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have to discuss it. You can just agree or not or disagree or not, but let's just move right along. Little Kim has always been that girl, if you, especially on the East Coast, bad boys, biggie, like Little Kim, because better grab a seat, you know what I mean? Everybody, you know, Deeper than ever a bitch six feet, okay? That's what I'm talking about. I feel like um Wendy when she was on pull up in the Sri Lanka. Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Y'all want We see little Kim poised and perched um in this little blush or roll ensemble that she has on, and she looks like a Chinese woman. And y'all know how much I talk about black fishing. Y'all know I do not like that. Y'all know that's not what I stand for. And I'm not here for, I don't even want to say China fishing, but something. It's something. First of all, we know that Kim has struggled with her appearance since the early 90s when she was first introduced to us on that cover of the magazine or the cover of the album and, you know, whoever, whatever. And she was bad then, but she was obviously faced with comparison to the very colorist music industry at that time i mean the, the music industry is still very colorist, but it was even more colorist back in the day and um you know we kind of see her start shape shifting um google says the first surgery that she hourly discussed what happened in 2004 when she said she was in a very abusive relationship and um you know, so much damage was done to her face that she, you know, ended up going into getting cosmetic surgery. I did a little bit of deep, uh, you know, a deeper dive and I started looking at her Grammy looks and I see a noticeable difference in her face, specifically her chin. Um, in 2002, if you take a look at this image, her chin is very uh, filled with something. It's giving very much something. Now, I didn't do a whole discovery, discovery, discover, discover, I don't even know what the name but Y'all know what I'm talking about when her first album came out compared to her second album after Biggie died. Pink cover album. And we all, I mean, like, if you're a girl of my age, we all know when this came out because it was like Notorious Kim. And she looks like Cisco or somebody on this damn um, cover album obviously she had her tatas done I love a good I love a good yitty moment but Kim's chin is even smaller here now when did this album come out that album came out in 2007 so here's her Grammy picture here is what she looked like at the Grammys in 2002 so let's just say Notorious Kim came out in 2000 she was you know recorded in 1999 so from then to you know fast forward you know two years later she has a completely different chin and obviously liposuctioned body enhanced breasts another nose job cheek enhancements of some sort and, I, and one thing i know a little bit about cosmetic surgery you need some time for things to kind of fill out and you know to settle and to kind of reset if you will kind of like you know the swelling goes down or whatever and when these celebrities get money they don't have doctors who will tell them what's their what's in their best interest they try to please their client as best as they can so they can continue doing the work and continue doing the check so let's just 
I'm saying all this to say that Kim has been struggled with identity issues. She's going on to interviews talking about she feels like a Spanish woman trapped in a black girl's body. She's going on to say she feels she feels Chinese about the eyes. I don't know. She feels everything except for a black woman, which she which she started out with, which is a huge part of her supporters. So when the album when the um ebony magazine reveals the 50 years of hip-hop cover featuring little kim um the photographer says who photographed this or no someone says who photographed this and keith major says man she wanted to be in control of the retouching so this is what we got little kim comes out and she says who is this because that's not the photo i approves or any other content they've put out. I always told Ebony it looks like a painting, but they didn't want to listen. They said they loved it. It's a sabotage for me. The funny shit about this is that it's their retoucher. Kim, nobody has sabotaged you but you, ma'am. You have sabotaged your face. You have sabotaged your body. You have sabotaged your nose, your chin, your everything. You have sabotaged with the work that you've done, okay? And I think we need to start getting real about the celebrities work. I feel like the, the work that people get nowadays is only used as a, a social precursor that I have a little bit of money. People don't even care if the work is good anymore. They only want to care. They only really care about is the fact that I've gotten work done because my bag is there and you don't natural body, big back. I mean, Truly, we will praise and praise and, and, and put in position the women with the big buckaroos. We will praise and praise the women with the, with the big marbles in their breasts. We will praise and praise the big, big, big gigantical butts with the little teeny weeny legs. All under the guise of they have more social capital because they had $5,000 to go to Mexico or to go to Colombia to get Tic Tacs permanently etched onto their fucking gum line for real and it needs to end kimmy then it's the delusion for me she goes on to post me and the little queen little kim queen b stayed up for hours with the team and chose this one we have the receipts fool definitely didn't choose that other flick um now if you look at this picture honestly i just see a difference in the um, like the brightness, the contrast or whatever you can see on her legs. Her legs maybe look a little darker. Her hands look a little bit darker. The photo on the left is the one that she chose. The face still looks exactly the same. Nostrils still not symmetrical. Um, what is the difference? Be fucking for real. What is the difference? What am I looking at? What are we looking at exactly? Are you saying that you chose the photo that looks darker, Kimmy? Cause either way, girl, you look a mess. Bitch, you look a mess in the words of Jocelyn Hernandez. And I'm not up here going to shame any type of woman, girl, what you do with your body, with your box, whatever is what you do. But I just think us as a culture need to step away from glamorizing botched surgery, glamorizing Groupon liposuction, glamorizing all of these things that are ultimately leaving us looking a mess. Looking a mess. The 90s natural beauty era was heightened or is starting to become heightened because we have gone so far past in this era of surgery and cosmetic enhancements. We truly have. Look at JT and her lips. Hello? Is anybody there? I feel like Tony Braxton. Where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? And I just feel like when I seen, when I saw this, when I seen, no, when I seen this, as a matter of fact, yeah. When I seen this, this image, I'm like, come on now. Come on now. Chelsea, come on now. Chelsea, come on now. Y'all, how, how are y'all feeling about this? We all know that Kim as a whole has been out here looking a mess. But it's not even so much as the fact that she looks a mess. It's, it's the fact that it's the delusion and it's the fact that everybody is so silent about this weird surgery um increase that we've been seeing and it's not even good surgery girl if you're gonna get the work done fine by all means save your coin get it done the correct way 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want people out here with these big gigantic lips just to, just to say, girl, you ain't got the money to do it and I'm doing it and you mad. You look a mess. So stop, embrace who you are. If you decide to do it, do it the right way. Please and thank you. That's my commentary. Let me know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. Let's get the conversation going. And I don't want y'all coming at me like, oh, uh, 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 because y'all know I don't give it up like that. Period. Point blank. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.